Today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop movies, 22 RoboCop. This is a very banged up RoboCop vinyl figure. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. And today we're taking a look at the pop movies, RoboCop 22, a very beat up RoboCop. <laughs> Uh, I purchased this off of Amazon. It was discounted because the box was damaged. I was I didn't know to what extent it was damaged. Um, but it beat paying the 40 bucks for a brand new one. Considering the RoboCop Funko Pop is valued at nowhere near $40. Uh, this is a retired vaulted uh, pop. Uh, but even so, according to Pop Price Guide, it is nowhere near... $40 value. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the package. Try to ignore the damage on the package for right now as we go over it. Uh, and then I'll go through and I'll, uh, I'll talk about the damage. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here on the back, we have the movie poster. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened with this box. Um, <laughs> Amazon warehouse deals inspected. <laughs> uh, it kind of looks like it got thrown around, maybe used as a football. Um, <laughs> of course... You know, most pops, there are in-the-box and out-of-the-box collectors. I'm an in-the-box collector. However, the destruction of the box doesn't really bring down the value much. Uh, because, like I said, there are out-of-the-box collectors as well. So, but like... Like I've said before, I don't plan on reselling any of my pops or any of my comics, really. Uh, they're just more for my collection. Uh, and I really wanted a RoboCop. And I wanted to pay, pay a decent price for one. Unfortunately, paying a decent price for one meant getting a damaged box. As you can see, there's some wear on the corners. Uh, damage on the back flaps a tear on this flap uh, tear here you got tape holding it together here um, damage on the bottom here um, <laughs> so yeah a lot of damage but let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look at Robocop dead or alive you're coming with me uh, Robocop is a 1987 American cyberpunk action film. It is quite possibly one of the most brutal uh, action films of the 80s. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you only know Robocop from the cartoons and the Re most recent movie let me tell you something <laughs> back in the 80s Robocop was the most brutal most gruesome action film of its time uh, Alex Murphy got his arms and legs blown off uh, he just got blown to bits uh, you had one that one guy that got uh, took a bath in some toxic waste and his skin just starts melting right off of him. Um, just very gruesome movie. But that's what made it so cool. And it spawned two sequels, uh, which Robocop 2 was probably the better of the two sequels. And then it spawned a cart an animated series. 
<clears throat> a toy line, as well as a mini series, a Canadian mini series, which I tried watching it a couple weeks ago, and I think I made it maybe 15 minutes in. It was that horrendous. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. But it also spawned a reboot as well. So anyway, let's take a look at Alex Murphy here, Robocop. Uh, very nice, uh, very metallic looking exoskeleton armor, if that's what you want to call it. Um, the gun, they got it perfectly. Uh, the paint isn't too crisp, mainly around the jawline. Kind of wish they would have painted his visor red or maybe made it a clear red visor uh, so that you could see in kind of transparent uh, in red. That would have been pretty cool. Um, his head, ooh, it was stiff. Turns all the way around, just like most pops, uh, if they're able to move, really. Uh, but very nice. There's the bottom. Came out in 2012. Not bad. I really like it. Uh, one of these days, I will be doing a review of the all four uh, Robocop movies. Um, in fact, I'll probably do that this winter when I got some time off. Um, my schedule right now is a little hectic. With it being the fall, uh, leaves are starting to fall, so I'm working a lot more. Uh, my kids also recently joined Cub Scouts, and I've signed on to be den leader, an assistant den leader, so pretty busy with that right now, which is why uh, you guys haven't gotten uh, many, many videos uh, like I've been wanting to do. Uh, so I decided, since Funko Pop review videos were so easy to film, I just go ahead and give you some extra Pop review videos this month. Um, so here it is, RoboCop. This was the Pop Movies number 22 in a damaged Amazon box. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. Happy October, everyone. Take care. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.